so in the last video we started the modeling for this fire hydrant and completed this much so let's try to add some more details in this video uh, let's take a uh, insert edge loop tool and add one edge here and one here now go to face mode and select the alternate faces and intrude decrease the local translate z to intrude just a little bit now press 3 and take insert edge loop tool again and add one edge here like this push it down now select this top and create a duplicate bring it down now select this cylinder and go to face mode we need to delete these faces delete them and now we need to attach these edges to this part so go to face mode of uh, this component select the faces and delete go to edge mode and select these edges then press shift and scale it like this go to object mode and pull this up go to wireframe mode and Select this edge and uh, align it with this edge here like this. Now select both these components and combine. Select the edges and uh, merge border edges. Increase the tolerance. Now again go to face mode and delete these faces in the bottom and repeat the same process just go to edge mode and select this edge then press shift and scale it down like this. Now extrude it. Now let's create a top for this hydrant but first uh, select this model and uh, isolate this and delete the faces. Now bring back your model, select this one and uh, again isolate then go to face mode and delete these faces. Go to edge mode and we are going to repeat everything we just did down here. So select this edge and press shift then extrude like this. Now select both of them and combine. Go to edge mode and select this edge and this one. Then go to merge and collapse edge then select this merge border edges increase the tolerance now let's create the top for this hydrant and for that i'm going to take a sphere pull it up increase the radius like this And go to face mode then uh, delete half of this sphere. Bring it back down here.
scale it down just a little bit. Now go to face mode and select these faces and scale them down like this. Now again go to face mode and select the alternate faces like we did here. So we have selected all the faces. Now press Ctrl E to intrude. Decrease the local translate Z. Press 3 to view in the smooth preview. Keep the local translate Z to minus 0.1. Now select this one and again isolate then go to face mode and delete these faces on the top. Bring back this one. Now select this one and uh, go to edge mode. Select the edge and we are going to repeat everything. Then now press shift and scale it down like this. Now combine these two and go to edge mode. Select this edge. and the other one then again go to merge collapse edges and select this merge border edges increase the tolerance and these two are merged now go to top view and go to vertex mode select these vertices and scale same for this side and on the sides Now go to face mode and select these faces and extrude like this. Now let's add some supporting edges. So uh, select this edge and bevel. Increase one segment and decrease the fraction. to 0 0.15 take the insert edge loop tool and add one edge here and one right here for all these edges we are going to select them and then bevel Add one segment and decrease the fraction to 0 
now let's add some supporting edges here on the sides so select these uh, edges and bevel add one segment and this looks fine let's repeat the same thing here select the edges and bevel add one segment and let's increase a little bit of fraction let's select this edge and go to slide edge tool let's bring it up a little bit and this one right here now it's time to add some supporting edges on this one so go to edge mode and select these edges And bevel let's turn off the chamfer for this one and decrease the fraction to 0 0.3 time to add some segments here now select this one and these three and bevel turn off the chamfer and decrease the fraction repeat the same process for these edges bevel turn off the chamfer and decrease the fraction to 0.2 go to front view and go to vertex mode and select all these vertices and let's scale it a little bit pull it up like this and now it looks much better let's add some supporting edges on the top bevel add one segment and decrease the fraction to 
so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to add some nuts and bolts and some chains around these parts and then we are done with the modeling so i hope you liked this video and if you did then subscribe to the channel you can also join my discord and follow me on the instagram and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching